Deep within the Sahara Desert lies a mystery, a colossal enigma. Visible from space, it's a stark, circular feature. This is the Rishat structure, better known as the Eye of the Sahara. The structure spans an impressive 30 miles in diameter. Its concentric rings resemble a giant bullseye, making it a prominent landmark for astronauts. The Eye of the Sahara has puzzled scientists for decades. Some believe it's a product of natural geological processes, while others see it as evidence of something more extraordinary. Could it be the remnants of a lost civilization? Or the scar of an ancient impact? Join us as we journey into the heart of the Sahara to unravel the mysteries of the eye. The Sahara Desert, a place of extremes. Within this arid wilderness lies a secret, the eye of the Sahara. This isn't some mythical beast, it's a geological marvel. The eye is a circular depression composed of concentric rings of different types of rock. Each layer tells a story of the Earth's distant past. The outer rings rise gently from the desert floor, creating a natural amphitheater. At the center lies a smaller dome of older rocks, hinting at a time before the rings were formed. This central dome is a mystery within a mystery. What forces could have created such a structure? The answer may lie buried deep beneath the sands of time. The eye calls to explorers, scientists, and dreamers alike. The Sahara whispers tales of ancient times, of lost civilizations and forgotten wonders. The nomads were the first to see the eye, making it part of their lore. But the world remained unaware until the 1960s space race. Astronauts orbiting Earth noticed it, a giant bullseye staring back at them. Theories began to circulate and expeditions were launched. Geologists ventured into the Sahara to unlock the secrets of the eye. The Eye of the Sahara refused to give up its secrets easily. The mystery deepened, captivating the world for decades. What secrets lie hidden beneath the sun-baked sands? Join us as we journey into the heart of the Sahara. This is more than just a geological formation. It is a testament to the power and mystery of the natural world. The Rishar structure sprawls across the desert with a diameter of 30 miles. Imagine driving for hours and still being within its embrace. The structure isn't a single flat disk, but a series of concentric rings that rise and fall like waves frozen in time. These rings are a tapestry of time, each made of different rock types. The outermost rings are younger, made of sedimentary rock like sandstone and limestone. As you move inward, the rocks get older, speaking of a more turbulent past. Volcanic rock appears, evidence of fiery eruptions that shook the earth. These eruptions left behind igneous rocks like granite and basalt. The colors of the Rishat structure are striking. From above, it resembles a giant bullseye, but on the ground, the colors are more subtle. Pale yellows and oranges dominate, interrupted by streaks of darker brown and gray. The sun plays tricks on the eye, shifting the colors with the changing light. The Rishat structure is a geological marvel, a testament to the Earth's dynamic history. Each ring tells a story of erosion, deposition, and uplift. The outermost ring is the youngest, made of sedimentary rocks laid down in layers. The next ring inward is older, a mix of sedimentary and volcanic rocks. As you move inward, the rings get older and the story becomes more complex. The rocks tell of a time when this region was repeatedly uplifted and eroded. Mountains rose and fell, rivers carved deep valleys, and the landscape was constantly changing. The rings of the Rishar structure are like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Geologists have been piecing together this puzzle for decades. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the secrets of the eye. At the center of the Rishat structure lies a mystery, a circular dome composed of much older rocks. These rocks predate the surrounding rings, offering a glimpse into the Earth's distant past. This central dome is about two and a half miles in diameter, rising gently from the surrounding plains. Unlike the outer rings, which are composed of sedimentary and volcanic rocks, the dome is made of Precambrian rocks. The presence of Precambrian rocks at the heart of the Richard structure 
suggests that this place has been around for a very long time. The Richat structure is a geological marvel, a testament to the Earth's dynamic history. The rings of the Richat structure are more than just pretty patterns. They're a record of geological processes that have shaped this region over millions of years. Each ring tells a story of erosion, deposition, and uplift. The outermost ring is the youngest, made of sedimentary rocks laid down in layers. The next ring inward is older, a mix of sedimentary and volcanic rocks. As you move inward, the rings get older and the story becomes more complex. The rocks tell of a time when this region was repeatedly uplifted and eroded. Mountains rose and fell, rivers carved deep valleys, and the landscape was constantly changing. The rings of the Rishar structure are like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Geologists have been piecing together this puzzle for decades. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the secrets of the eye. The Rishat structure is a geological marvel, a testament to the Earth's dynamic history. The Rishat structure, hidden for millennia beneath the Sahara, revealed its secrets from above, a view from the cold, unforgiving vacuum of space. During the space race, humanity found a peculiar circular feature in the Sahara, Astronauts aboard Gemini missions reported a giant bullseye staring back at them. Its size was staggering, its shape too perfect to be natural. The images captivated the world. Scientists were intrigued. What created such a distinctive feature? Theories ranged from ancient impact craters to lost civilizations. The Rishar structure became a prime target for investigation. The Eye of the Sahara beckoned. Expeditions were mounted, and teams of geologists, geophysicists, and other experts ventured into the heart of the Sahara. Their mission to unravel the enigma of the Richard structure. Early expeditions focused on mapping the structure, traversing the vast expanse of the rings, meticulously recording their observations. They collected rock samples, analyzed the different layers, and searched for clues to its formation. Theodore Monod, a renowned French naturalist, was among the first to study the Richard structure extensively. His expeditions in the 1950s and 1960s laid the groundwork for our understanding of this geological marvel. As technology advanced, so too did the tools available to scientists. Aerial surveys provided a broader perspective, while geophysical techniques like magnetic and seismic surveys allowed them to peer beneath the surface. The Eye of the Sahara refused to give up its secrets easily. With each expedition, the mystery of the Rishar structure deepened. The initial assumption that it was an impact crater was quickly dismissed. There was no evidence of the shock waves and melted rock typically associated with such events. Researchers began to focus on the structure's unique geology. The concentric rings composed of various sedimentary and volcanic rocks, suggested a more complex and drawn-out process of formation. One prevailing theory proposed that the Richard structure was formed by a geological dome that was gradually eroded over millions of years. The different layers of rock, representing different periods of geological history, were exposed as erosion peeled back the layers like an onion. The presence of hydrothermal features, like hot springs and silica deposits, further supported this theory. The Richard structure is a puzzle millions of years in the making. Each layer of rock, each fault line, each ripple in the sand tells a story of the Earth's dynamic past. Scientists continue to analyze the data, refine their theories, and piece together the complex sequence of events that shape this remarkable formation. Dating techniques have revealed that the oldest rocks at the center of the structure are approximately 2.5 billion years old, placing them in the Precambrian era. The outer rings, on the other hand, are much younger, with some dating back to the late Proterozoic era, around 540 million years ago. The Rishat structure is a testament to the power of geological processes to shape our planet over immense periods. The Eye of the Sahara, 
a riddle written in stone. Scientists, drawn to its enigmatic allure, have proposed various theories. The most widely accepted explanation? Geology. It's a story of uplift and erosion, played out over eons. Imagine a time when the Sahara was not a desert, but a landscape sculpted by rivers and rainfall. Deep beneath the surface, molten rock pushed upward, creating a dome. As the dome rose, erosion went to work, carving away at the rock. The softer layers eroded faster, creating the rings we see today. Each ring represents a different type of rock, eroded at a different pace. Over time, the dome collapsed inward, creating the central depression. The result? The Eye of the Sahara, a masterpiece millions of years in the making. The Earth bears the scars of ancient impacts, asteroids, comets, remnants from the early solar system. These celestial wanderers sometimes collide with our planet with catastrophic results. Could the Rishat structure be one such scar? Some researchers believe so. They point to the structure's circular shape and size, consistent with known impact craters. However, the evidence is inconclusive. Impact craters often exhibit specific features like melted rock and shock waves, which are largely absent at the Rishat structure. Erosion over millions of years could have erased the evidence, or perhaps the impact was less powerful than initially thought. Lost civilizations and ancient myths are the stuff of legends. But what if these stories hold a grain of truth? Some see in the Richar structure a connection to a lost world. Plato described Atlantis, a powerful island nation swallowed by the sea. Could Atlantis have once existed in the Sahara Desert? Could the Rishat structure be a remnant of this lost civilization? The theory is intriguing, but there's no scientific evidence to support this claim. No artifacts, inscriptions, or other signs of human habitation have been found. The Atlantis theory, while captivating, remains firmly in the realm of speculation. The Rishat structure continues to be a geological marvel, a testament to the Earth's dynamic history. The Sahara, a place of secrets. For centuries, nomads have roamed its dunes, knowing the desert's rhythm and whispers. They've passed down stories, tales of the eye of the Sahara, woven into their culture and oral history. To the nomads, the Richar structure is more than just a geological formation. It's a landmark, a meeting place, a source of water in a thirsty land. Some tribes believe it's a sacred site, a place of power. The nomads tell stories of spirits that dwell within the eye's rings, spirits that guard its secrets. They speak of strange lights seen at night and of the wind whistling through the rocks, carrying messages from the past. These stories are a testament to the power of the eye, a reminder that the desert holds many mysteries. Could ancient civilizations have known about the Eye of the Sahara? Some researchers believe so. They point to old maps that depict a circular feature, possibly the Richat structure. One such map is the Piri Reis map, a 16th century Turkish map renowned for its accuracy. It depicts the western coast of Africa and South America. And interestingly, it also shows a large circular feature inland. Some claim this circular feature is the Richat structure, with the map's scale and orientation seeming to match. Could the Piri Race map be evidence that ancient civilizations knew about the eye? The evidence is circumstantial. The Piri Race map is shrouded in mystery, its sources unknown. It's possible the circular feature is a coincidence, or perhaps it represents something else entirely. The Eye of the Sahara. Once hidden, now a beacon in the desert. Visible from space, it draws adventurers. Scientists study its secrets. Tourists flock to witness its grandeur, a place to marvel at nature, to contemplate time's vastness. The Eye of the Sahara. 
a silent sentinel, a riddle etched into the face of the earth. We've journeyed to its heart, we've explored its rings, we've delved into its mysterious past. Yet, the eye holds its secrets close. Is it simply a product of geological forces? A testament to the Earth's slow, relentless power? Or could it be something more? Evidence of an ancient impact? A whisper of lost civilizations? The debate rages on. What we do know is this. The Rishat structure is a place of profound beauty. Its scale is awe-inspiring. Its symmetry is mesmerizing. It's a stark reminder of the vastness of time and the power of nature. The eye of the Sahara is a puzzle. Each expedition, each study adds a piece, but the complete picture remains elusive. The Sahara, a place of extremes, of scorching sun and biting wind. Yet, within its harsh embrace lies a certain allure, a call to explore, to unravel the mysteries that lie hidden beneath the dunes. The eye of the Sahara beckons. It calls to scientists, adventurers and dreamers alike. It challenges us to push the boundaries of our knowledge, to seek answers to questions we may not yet fully comprehend. Will we ever truly understand the eye of the Sahara? Perhaps not. But the pursuit of knowledge is a journey, not a destination. And the eye, with its enduring mystery, will continue to inspire that journey for generations to come. The desert whispers its secrets. Will you listen?